In this video I'm going to explain the working principles of the Tornado engines. I invented these engines as a way to create a jet engine with no moving parts. Now the first engine I like to call the centrifugal chimney engine and the second engine I like to call the air flywheel ramjet engine. Now the first engine works on a simple principle like a chimney. Now a chimney is very very simple, it's a heat engine. So hot air rises and cold air comes in underneath. So in a chimney the fire burns, fuel and air mix and get hotter and then they go up the flue. Now it's a very simple principle but it creates a moving gas column. So the second idea I came up with was putting a chimney in a centrifuge to make it more powerful. So my first engine was basically a room with a ce that centrifugal room sort of like you see at fairground rides with a chimney in it to make the actual chimney more powerful. But I thought why would you need to actually spin something solid when you could spin the gas itself as gas is able to spin a lot faster than actual solid objects. So basically I took a tube and I put rings on either end to constrict the pipe. So there's a side view of what you're looking at. So if you cut that pipe apart you get that. This plate is to separate the air intake from the air outtake. And basically it works on the same principle as a chimney. The air comes in, is spun up you could have a set of fans or vanes to make it spin before it actually comes into the engine but once it's running it shouldn't be necessary because of the Coriolis effect so the air would come in get spun up then fuel would be added and it burned or you could heat the sides of the chamber and then the air would get hotter and rise to the center of the centrifugal column of air and then get blown out the back so that's the basic principle of the centrifugal chimney engine it's a very very simple engine and very simple to explain second engine is the air flywheel ramjet engine so it works on a very similar principle the air would spin inside the chamber then it would go out the pipe and come back around and get squeezed from its momentum sort of like how a ramjet works a ramjet works by going so fast that the air gets compressed inside a column specially made sort of like this and then they add fuel and it burns and it gets shot out the other side this one would work on a similar principle to the centrifugal chimney engine but the air would actually be burned inside an outside chamber and would actually add momentum to the column with spinning gas then the hot air would get exhausted out the back so there they are, the two engines, they're very very simple and very simple to explain and they have no moving parts and would be very powerful thank you for watching